Mm. Wow, this is such a beautiful space. Thank you for having me here. I'm really honored and excited. And we brought some Santa Cruz Sangat here, so I'm looking forward to integrating the communities. Um, today we have a special occasion. Why we're down here is um, about six months ago or so, a man came into the studio and and um, I noticed, okay, wow, um, he's quite older than um, most of the people in the studio, and, and I had to quickly think on my feet, what are we going to do? Maybe let's, let's put him in a chair, because I wasn't sure how strong his legs were. And then, um, long story short, you know, he was walking around with a cane, and now he's in class without a cane. He comes every single class, mm -hmm. and he is super inspiring to us all. It's just so amazing. He's 85. Yesterday was his birthday. His name is Ray, and he'll be with us shortly, I hope. Oh, he's the behind. Sanami! Ray has my back. Oh my goodness, what a light. What a light. I thought, oh, oh, where did he go? I hope he's okay. Ray has my back tonight, everyone. Ray has all of our backs tonight. He's here, not me. Why could you? Why could you? So I thought about um, what we could do for tonight's class and like a, a good theme. And I thought about how radiant Ray is when he walks in and how he lights up the room. And so we're going to work on the radiant body tonight. We're going to do a Kriya that's called the Keep Up Spirit. Because if anyone embodies that, it's Ray. He is a ray of light. And so let us join hands, rub our palms together. In honor of that ray of light in each of us. Sit up nice and tall and allow the shoulders to relax and fall away from the ears as you close your eyes and softly gaze up and in at the brow point. Now let's press our thumbs into our sternum and begin long deep yogic breaths starting two inches below the navel. Fill the belly up with air. And as you exhale, draw the navel up and in. Continue in this long, deep yogic breath, connecting to your center, coming into your beautiful temple. We will be tuning in with the Adi Mantra, Ong Namo Gurudev Namo, three times, followed by the Mangala Charan for protection. Ong Namo Gurudev Namo, I bow to the divine wisdom within myself and within all beings, the divine wisdom of the cosmic totality. As a group, let's inhale and exhale. Again, let's inhale and exhale. Inhale the tune. Oh. Sadhguru Dev Namah 
Suspend the breath, apply the root lock, squeezing the anus, sex organs, and navel. Pull the energy up into your heart. Gaze up and in. Feel that beautiful energy around you dance and spin. Exhale, release. Bring your palms onto your knees. Begin the Sufi rotation, inhaling forward, exhaling back, keeping the chin lightly tucked, <coughs> keeping the eyes softly closed, gazing up and in. Beautiful. Drawing beautiful circles in the sky with your crown. Imagining your spine is like a spoon and your pelvis is a bowl of ice cream, perhaps, or soup, or whatever your preference. Nice and big circle. Good. And the next time you find yourself forward, exhale the other direction. Perhaps you draw the navel up and in on the exhale back. Just work your edge here, keeping the sit bones firmly planted, keeping the gaze up and in with softly closed eyes, coming into the body, into your center, into your temple. Beautiful. One more beautiful, large rotation. And then come inhaling center. Sit up nice and tall. Suspend the breath. Now apply the root lock and pull the energy up into your heart, into your third eye space. Feel the electromagnetic energy around you. Spin and dance. Exhale, release. Beautiful. We're going to do a variation of a life nerve stretch where we keep the left foot in at the groin and stretch the right leg out, keep the foot flexed. If you can grab the toe and finger lock, it's the peace sign fingers behind the big toe, press the thumbs into the toenail. Otherwise, grab your knee, your shin, or wherever. Left fingers reach out, inhale up, exhale over. Inhale up, exhale down. Feel a stretch in the back of the leg and the side body here. Keep reaching through your left fingers. Good. Stretching the sciatic nerve. Inhaling sat, exhaling nom. Sat is truth. Nom is your name, essence, your vibrational identity as truth. Keep the chin lightly tucked. Good. Last 20 seconds. And vigorous now. Inhale over. Good. Body nice and warm. Keeping the right leg as straight as possible. Beautiful. And take one more and then inhale. Reach through the fingers. Open your heart. Expand in every direction. Smile and pull the energy up. Squeeze and pull up. Reaching through those right fingers. Inhale up, exhale over. Stretching the back of the left leg as well as the side body. Keeping the chin lightly tucked so the back of the neck is an extension of the spine. Close your eyes now, gaze up and in. Beautiful. Honor where your body's at, right here, right now. If you have your toe in finger lock, on the exhale down, give it a nice little squeeze. Stimulates the pituitary gland. Last 20 seconds now, nice and vigorous. Connecting the breath with the movement. Reaching through those fingers. Beautiful. And I close 
smile's interesting too. And one more, and then inhale, reach and open the heart now. Open the heart nice and wide. Pull that right arm back and reach through the fingers. Suspend. Exhale, release. Beautiful. We'll just come into a cat cow for just a moment. Our fingers are spread wide, palms underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hips. Inhale, gaze this forward, arch the back. Exhale, tuck the chin, the tailbone, and draw the navel up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Make a solid foundation, keeping the fingers spread wide and then pressing those knuckles into the earth so you can get the maximum range of motion in your spine. Good. Flexibility of the spine is one of the key ingredients to a healthy, long life. So work your edge here. Do your personal best. Good. Keep up. Keeping the eyes closed. Tuning into that inner universe where the infinite is a perpetual flow of love and bliss. Last 10 seconds here. On your next inhale, suspend the breath. Lie the rib, gaze up and On your exhale, walk the hands out just slightly. Tuck your toes under and push back into a down dog or a kundalini triangle. Get those heels down, pressing into the palms. Really lift up and out of the armpits and keep your neck area nice and relaxed, breathing into the low belly. Do your personal best with this. This is great for strengthening the nerves and the aura. Good. Get those hips up and back. Elongate the spine. We're here for just a few more breaths. Nice and deep breaths. Beautiful. On your next inhale, suspend the breath. Apply the root lock. Perfect the posture. And then on your next exhale, bend the knees and slowly and gracefully Walk your feet to your hands and hang here in a forward fold for a moment. Let your shoulders just relax. Let everything go. You can shake your head from side to side. Your arms are hanging. <sighs> Maybe letting out a sigh, vocalize. Hmm. <sighs> Beautiful. On your next inhale, firmly plant four corners of each foot into the earth as deep as you can go so you can lift as high as you can dream. And so we exhale, tuck the tailbone under and begin rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae, letting the arms hang, letting your head hang. Your chin is the last thing that comes up. It tucks into the chest before you're looking forward, closing the eyes, gazing up and in. Suddenly you're taller and oh so radiant. We're going to come into Archer. Archer is a great warm up for the radiant body. So we'll start with the right foot forward. Make sure your knee does not go over the heel. Plant the feet into the earth. The back leg, the left leg is at a diagonal. Plant that foot down. We'll bring both arms up. Now curl your fingertips so they're pressing into the mounds of the palms, but the thumbs remain up. All right, gazing beyond the big thumb at the horizon, at your destiny, draw the left elbow back slowly and surely. And keep the left elbow back, and then the shoulders relax and down. Good. From here, everyone looks beautiful. Begin a breath of fire. Pumping the navel up and in, up and in, up and in. When the navel comes in, the breath goes out the nose. It's an equal part inhale and exhale. Keep gazing at your big, big, beautiful destiny. Why you came here? Why you came to Earth? What are your gifts? What are your gifts to share? Merge with those gifts. Merge with your destiny. Merge with the will of the divine. Beautiful. Bringing Satnam to the breath. Satnam, 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 Satnam. Good. Nice and strong. Saintly warriors here. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful.
Keep up. Almost there. Keep that left elbow up. Nice. Really expand across the heart now. Gaze. Merge. All right. Please inhale. Suspend the breath. And then on your exhale, release. Beautiful. Come standing for a moment. Close your eyes and just absorb the benefits of the breath of fire and of the archer pose. Feel yourself deeply rooted to the very core of the earth. And from that rooted groundedness, soar. Right, beautiful. We'll do the other side now. Right leg comes back. Left knee bends. Right foot at an angle. Both arms so strong. Up. Curl those fingers in. Draw that right elbow back. Um, shoulders are down the back. And relax and begin. Breath of fire. Beautiful. Strengthening the nerves here. We make our bodies so strong, our bodies can fight off anything. So strong is your divine shield. So strong is your radiance that no dis-ease, no discomfort, nobody else's ego, including your own, can have power over you. That's how strong and unlimited your potential is. Good, keep the shoulders relaxed. Almost there, last 20 seconds now, go. Gaze beyond the thumb, merge with your destiny, cultivate the finest, most exquisite gifts you have to share with this planet. And nothing can stand between you and your destiny. Please inhale, suspend the breath. Open the heart. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Come standing now. Again, just absorb. Feel your radiance. It is palpable. Feel that love in your heart. Feel it swimming and dancing around. Feel the love of the group. What a beautiful group. All right. Now to really, really get us warm here, we'll do 26 frogs. So your heels are together. <laughs> Will you have me back after this? <laughs> your heels are together and they're off the earth. Good, good. And keep them off the earth. This is the exhale. You're looking forward. Your heart's open. On the inhale, you straighten your legs and your nose goes towards your knees. As best you can. Just make it work. Inhale down. That's one. Just go at your own pace and do as many as you can. This has tremendous transformative powers. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale set. Exhale now. Beautiful. Keeping those heels off the earth and together as best you can keep them together. I know this is a challenging one. And if you have sensitivity in the knees, just go ahead and be easy. Go light on yourself. Maybe you don't come all the way down. Maybe you don't come all the way up. You know, we tune in with the Adi Mantra, so we're listening to that divine teacher within ourselves, so you know best. I may be up here pushing, 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 but just listen to that divine wisdom. Good. And when you're finished with your 26th one, inhale, suspend the breath, apply the rule, uh, perfect the posture, keeping those heels together as best you can. And once you've suspended the breath, then gently and slowly coming back down into a comfortable cross-legged position. I avoid as best I can from calling it easy pose sometimes because it's, it's actually the challenging pose to sit in for so long. Just sit here and absorb all that. We're going to begin with a, a 
pranayam kriya. Pranayam meaning mastery of the breath. <coughs> and this one in particular, it's really powerful. It's for the parasympathetic nervous system. We're going to allow the breath to just return. Come back in. Sit up nice and tall now. Keep the chin lightly tucked so the back of the neck is an extension of the spine. Close the eyes softly and gaze up and in. Like these smiles. Nice. The posture is as such. We come into Gyan Mudra, which is the pointer finger, the Jupiter finger, thumb tips together, right by your side, and then draw them back so your shoulder blades are practically, they are touching if you can get them there. And if not, just pretend they're there. Fake it till you make it, right? All right. From here, we're just going to continue this motion of drawing those shoulder blades together. Take a deep, deep inhale and suspend at the top of the inhalation. Close your eyes. I'll give us a little cue when it's time to release. Just work on pointing those fingers up towards the sky and work on drawing those shoulder blades together. It should create a certain amount of tension. We're almost there. Last five seconds. All right, on your exhale, draw the navel up and in and get all the breath out, 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 so you can begin a new breath right here. At the top of the inhalation, pause, hold the breath. You might want to apply the root lock, and then again, keep those shoulder blades together as best you can. Keep them there. All right, on your exhale, draw the navel up and in, press all the air out, 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 out. Good, next one, inhale. Wow, beautiful, hold this breath really now, really now, come on, get those shoulder blades together. This is a once in a lifetime breath. You won't ever have another breath quite like this. Savor it. Squeeze. All right, beautiful. Exhale. Allow your hands to come down now and just rest on the knees in Gyan Mudra. Gaze up and in and just experience this. Allow for any shifts in the body to take place and just allow the breath to turn to natural. If I may read a quote while we're relaxing here. It's in quotations, so I'm assuming it's from Sari Singh Sahib, Yogi Bhajan. I don't think people should sniff cocaine anymore. Just teach them this sadhana. <laughs> this Kriya will take them where they want to go, and they will save all that money. <laughs> there will be no law and order problem. Neither will the brain become numb one day and create all those kinds of symptoms and withdrawals and sufferings. This is natural, and it saves all that money and embarrassment. <laughs> all right, good. We're going to do part two. Again, Gyan Mudra. Again, draw those shoulder blades together, but relax the shoulders down. From here, feel that ridge right behind your uh, front teeth on the upper palate. We're going to stick the tongue into it. We're going to inhale here. Now press the tongue into the ridge and hold it there. You can apply the root lock and pull the energy up, but keep the tongue pressing, pressing. Keep those shoulder blades pressing, pressing. Lots to think about. And now begin a breath of fire. <laughs> Navel goes up and in, up and in, satnam, 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 satnam. Only for a short period of time here. We got five more seconds. Do your best now. Keep going. Beautiful. Inhale, keep the posture. And then exhale, release, keep the posture. Again, let's inhale. Once in a lifetime breath here. And then press that tongue into the root, into that ridge. And squeeze and pull up, pull up, pull into your heart, into your throat, into your third eye space, into your crown. Just feel it all around. Mm. 
Squeeze. Squeeze those shoulders. Good. Squeeze. Breath of fire. <laughs> Beautiful. Keep those shoulders together. Five more seconds. Powerful breath. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Now inhale. Suspend the breath just lightly. And keeping the posture, exhale all the breath out. Out, 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 out. Beautiful. One last time. Inhale. Big. Press the tongue into the groove. Pull the root lock. Squeezing the intersex organs and navel at the base of the spine. Pull the energy up. Now up. Squeeze the shoulders. You're a container. You created a seal for love. Keep pressing. Exhale, just relax now, no breath of fire. Palms face up in Gyan Mudra, just experience. Hmm. Open your heart, lift up in the heart. Wow. This is a magical space and a magical group. We're going to begin this Kriya. It's the keep up spirit. Ray of light back there, how you doing? <laughs> awesome. This is the um, original position. It's a V, 60 degree angle, elbows straight, fingers together. Now there are four little movements that we make in this beginning. Lift in your heart and allow the shoulders to fall down. Plant firmly in the sit bones. This V is the original, but we do one, two, three, and then back to the original. One. We point the fingers forward, palms are together, facing each other actually, not together. Two, rotate and then fingers straight up in the air. Good, keep the palms facing each other. Three, flex, palms face up. Hey there, buddy. And then four, original position. I'll repeat. One, fingers forward, palms face each other, good. Two, they keep facing each other, good. Keep those elbows straight. Three, palms face the ceiling. Four, in a V, original position. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, continue. Closing the eyes and original. One, two, three, four. Good, continue. Keep up with this. It might start to burn, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna push through that as best we can. Just honor your body and where you're at. And the, the brain might get a little teased too, yeah? Let's, let's uh, make that left hemisphere and right hemisphere, let's, let's unite them. They're buddies after all. They've been together all these years. Good. Keeping the eyes closed. The 60 degree angle is also important. Really straighten the elbows. The 60 degree angle, wow, it, it just really, yoga is the science of angles. And we're working on a lot of angles here right now, but the 60 degree angle with really straight elbows, as straight as you can get them, directly talks to the heart. The sacred geometry of the heart chakra. We've got one more minute. You're doing great. Maybe you want to pick up the pace now. 
go beyond mental limitations. We are so much greater than what we tell ourselves we're capable of. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep up and you will be kept up. I know, it's a challenge. that keep up spirit we need right here for the last 20 seconds. Do your best. Go for it. Do your best. Keep those elbows as straight as you can. Lift in the heart. Beautiful yogis, you've arrived. Inhale. Come to the original position. Straighten those elbows. Straighten them as straight as you can. Pull up, squeeze up, smile, gaze up. Exhale, relax. Nice. Maybe you want to do this a little bit, whatever you need. Take a pause for the cause. All right. Feeling good? OK. This next one, so fun. We're going to interlace the fingers and then press the finger pads together. Yeah? And now cross the thumbs. It doesn't specify left over right or doesn't this time. Now bring the palms facing your chest, but don't touch your chest. Inhale, straight elbows, right out. Your arms are a projection of your heart. Inhale, bring them back. Keep pressing into those fingers. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, set. Exhale, numb. Keep pressing into the pads of those fingers. Keep the chin lightly tucked. Close your eyes now. Gaze up and in and go. We're here for, you know, some time. So I'm going to tell you a story because I like telling stories. And admittedly, about an hour before we were going to drive to come here, I was like, oh, no, I don't have a story. <laughs> I need a story, God. <laughs> what am I going to say? And um, a story was delivered to me, not in the way I had imagined, but then nothing happens the way you imagine it, right? So I uh, was about to wrap my turban. Good, you're doing great. Out and in, faster even. Do your personal best with this. Keep the, keep the fingers pressing. When you inhale out, just straighten those elbows the best you can. You're doing great. But go at a steady pace that you can keep for the next three minutes. Good. Enjoy it. Mm hmm OK, so I was about to wrap my turban. And I hear a chirp, chirp, chirp coming from the other room. And I, it's weird, but I got excited because I love rescuing birds. I'm, I have a knack for it, I guess. It excites me. It thrills me to have that beautiful creature in my hands before releasing it free again. But when I rounded the corner, I saw that my cat had it dangling from its mouth. Ugh. So I got it free from the cat's mouth, and it was badly, badly hurt. Its wing was broken. Its leg was broken. It could not walk. It could not fly. And the only time it was calm was when I was holding it in my hand. And I had to wrap my turban, you know? I had to get ready for this big night. And so I was, I was definitely in a predicament. I called, I looked up online, one-handed, um, some numbers to call, and I got answering machine messages. Good, one more minute. Keep up and you'll be kept up. This career is called the Keep Up Spirit. Summons that indomitable strength of character and go for it. All right, so answering machines. I didn't know what to do. And then I looked down on it and I said, this bird has an indomitable strength of spirit. This bird has the keep up spirit. And in fact, this bird's heartbeat was going like so. Go, 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 super fast. And it wanted to live, and I wanted to let it live. And so, long story short, I found a little safe haven for it. I gave it some water. And when I get home tonight, I surely hope that I can do whatever it takes, whatever this, the will, the divine's will for this bird is. I think it's a chickadee, I'm not sure. But it taught me a lot, and it brought me a story. 
about the keep up spirit because that bird kept trying to fly. It kept wanting to go back to its true nature. Beautiful now, last 10 seconds. So return now to your true nature. Inhale, straight arms, suspend the breath, gaze up and in. Seal the deal here. Exhale, release. Palms and Gyan Mudra, just relax. Just return to yourself. Just be you. All right. We get to come lying on our back now. Or leg lifts. <laughs> <laughs> So palms are face down underneath your buttocks for this one. Alternating though. So inhale, the right leg comes straight up. Exhale down. As soon as that heel comes down into the earth, the other leg goes up. Inhale up to 90 degrees. Exhale down. Inhale, sut. Exhale, nom. Beautiful. Keep the toes pointed and keep your knees as straight as you can. Really work in the navel here. So if your tendency right now is your um, your neck and your shoulders are starting to tense up, just tell them to relax. Your navel's got the work. All those nerve endings. What? 72,000, right? Nerve endings at the navel. Just awaken that fire. The Manipura. The gateway to the upper chakras. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, Exhale, no. You're doing great. Keep up and you'll be kept up. Give up and even God can't keep you up, right? Last 20 seconds now, nice and vigorous, nice and strong. Tap into that unlimited potential, yeah? You could do this for hours. Oh, you're so radiant. Look at that radiant body. It's the 10th body. And it's right there, shimmy shamming on the outskirts of your aura. All right, inhale and exhale, release. Just relax. Focus at the navel, close your eyes. Palms face up and receive the benefits here. Inhaling, set. Exhaling, now. Enjoy your true nature. All right, let's hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Thank yourself. Yes, congratulate yourself. Well done. Rock forward and back. Round out the back. Have fun. And then come with your legs straight out in front of you. Again, if you can grab your toes and finger lock, take the peace sign fingers, wrap them around, and then press the thumb into the toenail. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep the chin lightly tucked so the back of the neck is an extension of the spine and reach out of the very top of your head. Close your eyes, gaze up and in, and lead with your heart, allowing your shoulders to just relax and down the back. Inhale, set, exhale, now. Good, life nerve stretch, sciatic nerve stretch. Nice. Keep the head stationary, though. Keep it in a light jalandar bun, which is a neck lock. Mm -hmm. Feel that beautiful thousand petal lotus crown on top of your skull. How vibrant. How alive. Maybe it's billowing each time you come down on the exhale. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe you come down a little further each exhale. Maybe, maybe you feel like, wow, this stretch is really something tonight and I need to take it easy. Just honor where you're at. Stay tuned in. We have 20 more seconds. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. This is like a symphony of breath here, I love it. All right, please inhale, suspend the breath, apply the root lock, gaze up and in. Expand in every direction, feel how radiant you are. Exhale, release. Again, we'll come into a cat cow. Again, your fingers are so spread apart and you're pressing into the knuckles. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, tuck everything in. This time, we're a little more warm, yeah? So let's pick up the pace, just a hair. Maybe the range of motion isn't quite as wide, but you're really awakening that spinal fluid, stimulating the cerebrospinal fluid. And your glands and the brain and the throat are super happy. Remembering that age is measured, not by a number. It helps to have a flexible spine. And when Ray first walked into class, he was radiant, he was smiling. He had a cane, and he came and did his best. And he still does, he keeps up, he has that keep up spirit. Last 20 seconds. And now as I've watched this transformation, I've seen his posture improve, his aura is brighter, he's more and more radiant, he's smiling every moment of the day, it's so wonderful. And I know this yoga has helped him. All right, please inhale, seal at the base of the spine and gaze up and in. On your exhale, stay. We're gonna have a little fun. You know those temper tensions we throw in Kundalini sometimes? We're gonna have a fun time. Just kick your butt. Vigorously kick your butt. Go, go, go. Wham! <laughs> Good. Have a little thunderstorm here. Have fun. That's what it's about. Yogi Bhajan said, the purpose of life is to enjoy every moment. Why not? Even those challenging times, no one's exempt from them. We might as well enjoy them. Good. Last 20 seconds now. Kick your butt. Go, go, go. back into a baby pose for just a moment. Bring the hips back onto your heels and your forehead to the earth. Breathe. Forehead kissing the earth. Maybe plant a little seed, a little wish, a little prayer for you or a loved one. Shower it with love. And then watch it grow. All right, please take a beautiful deep once in a lifetime inhale. And then on your exhale, start at the base of the spine, tuck your tailbone under and just begin rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae, allowing your head to slowly come up, chin tucks into the chest and then we look forward. Then bring your palms forward, come into the balls of the feet and just come up into a forward fold. Plant the four corners of each foot into the earth, deeply rooted now, inhale. On your exhale, softly bend the knees, tuck at the tailbone, and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, letting the arms just hang and the head just hang. Beautiful. Oh, you guys like that, huh? <laughs> I like when I see yogis just take their time. It's so important. All right, we're going to have our hands on our hips. Slight bend of the knees, tuck that tailbone under. Huge rotations now. Just go in one way. Halfway through, I'll, I'll just cue us, okay? Keep the feet firmly planted. They're slightly wider than hips width apart. Keep the knees softly bent. Keep the chin lightly tucked. 
This is so purifying. It's so detoxifying that, in fact, some of us might get a little bout of nausea, and I hope not, but if that's the case, just come down and rest in baby pose for a moment. That's how cleansing this here is. Good, enjoy it. Feel that thousand petaled lotus crown. And then feel yourself so rooted, you're at the core of the earth, connected to your root. All right, the next time you're forward, just go the other direction now. Close the eyes. Drawing circles in the sky. Nice. Nice. Keep breathing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Almost there. Just deep in the breath. The deeper we breathe, the deeper we cleanse, yeah? Good. One more beautiful circle. Come inhaling center. Reach the arms overhead. Reach, reach, reach. Keep the feet planted. Soft bend and then exhale. Keep the arms right by the ears. Come down. Maybe touch the earth or wherever you're comfortable. Inhale up. Exhale down. Close the eyes. Gaze up and in. Continue on this journey. Feel your heart open. Maybe you come into a slight back bend even wherever you're at. Just stay connected to the breath. Inhaling, suck. Exhaling, non. Keeping the arms right by your ears. We're just distributing this radiance now. Distributing it up and down into our aura. All right, we're going to continue the motion with our torso, but we're going to keep our, our uh, stance now really wide. So if you might need to turn sideways. That's how wide we want to get it. Continue inhaling up, exhaling down. Continue with that light tuck of the chin, Jalandar Bun. So the back of the neck is an extension of the spine. Beautiful spinal alignment here. Nice. Enjoy. Enjoy every moment. Good. Make it your most graceful dance. Feel the love of the divine in your heart. Mm -hmm. Good. And we're going to continue. Just 30 more seconds, but bring your feet back where they were in position number one. Continue inhaling up, exhaling down. Beautiful. Feel the ray of light that is within your soul, within your heart, opening your heart each inhale. The lotus feet of the Guru dwelling right there eternally in your heart. Beautiful. Take one more up, one more down. And then come inhaling up, suspend the breath, apply the root lock, pull the energy up, keeping the posture, just feel, feel an exodus of the most gorgeous birds fly from your heart, free, free. Exhale, sweep your aura out, around, and down. Expand in every direction. Close your eyes, gaze up and in. Just stand here. Feel great. You've been working really hard. We're almost there. Let the breath return. Keeping the silent mantra, sat nan. Inhaling sat, exhaling nan. You are a radiant being. You have always been a radiant being. 
You always will be a radiant being. Firmly plant the feet. Root down now. We root down so that we can lift up and take off. So the fingertips come to the shoulders. It's just inhale up, exhale down. Just for 30 seconds, so make it as powerful as you can. Get those elbows as straight as you can. Inhaling up, exhaling down, close the eyes, and go for it. Go, go. Sutnam, 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 faster. Go, 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 fly. Woo! Yes. We're at the finish line almost. Keep up. The keep up spirit. Some of that Terdikala. That indomitable strength of spirit. Strength against all odds. Grace in the most disgraceful places. Beautiful. Inhale up. Straight. Sip in more air if you need. Squeeze at the base of the spine. Reach. Reach. Exhale. Sweep the aura. Yeah. Please come cross-legged. One last thing, but I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Neck rolls. Exhale. Chin comes into the chest. Inhale, right ear to the right shoulder. Inhaling back. Oh, yeah. Exhaling forward. Keep the eyes closed, gazing up and in. Who doesn't love this, right? Maybe turning the corners of your mouth up. And the next time your chin is in your chest, inhale the left ear to the left shoulder. And continue. Close the eyes. Meet the divine. Come, come to the lotus feet of the Guru in your heart. Merge with the divine. Take one more beautiful rotation. And then come inhaling center. Lift in your heart, shoulders relax. Sit on the throne of your nobility here. Feel your grace. Feel your limitlessness. And then please come lying on your back for deep relaxation.
Inhale. Coming back into the body, beginning to wiggle those darling fingers and toes. Rotating the wrists and the ankles. Sending them love, all they do for us. Go in both directions. Hmm. Maybe stretch your arms overhead. Stretch from fingers to toes. Go ahead and bend the right knee. Come up onto your left hip. Bring that right knee over and then Keeping the shoulder blades on the earth. Gaze over your right shoulder. Breathe into the low belly. Cat stretch. Final twist. Nice. And when you're ready, at the other side. Beautiful. When you feel complete, come back to center. Rub the soles of the feet, rub the palms vigorously, awakening those nerve endings. Beautiful. Now hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And rock forward and back. Rounding the back. Give me your back and a little massage here. Until you come to a comfortable seated cross-legged position for a meditation. So if that means sitting on a folded blanket or a cushion. Okay. Stay there. Okay. Make yourself comfortable. That's the most important thing. Be comfortable in this body. Okay. Spine straight. Be in this body cave. What we're going to do tonight is the Adi Shakti. Meditation. Adi Shakti, Adi Shakti, Namo, Namo. We'll do it twice. Serba Shakti, Serba Shakti, Serba Shakti, Namo, Namo. Pritam Bhagavati, Pritam Bhagavati, Pritam Bhagavati, Namo, Namo. Kundalini, Mata Shakti, Mata Shakti, Namo, Namo. Listen to your voice. You're calling out for this primal, this primal energy to manifest in this body, your body. This is a devotional longing that you have to have. So set yourself straight, please, and pull the root lock as you do it. Inhale. Adi Shakti, Adi Shakti, Adi Shakti, Namo Namo. Adi Shakti, Adi Shakti. Say 
सर्वशक्ति 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 नमो नमो सर्वशक्ति 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 नमो 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 प्रथम भगवती प्रथम भगवती प्रथम भगवती नमो नमो the sound of your voice echoing on that infinite horizon calling on that energy to manifest in this human form that you have taken the time to grow exhale <laughs> relax your breath and sit inside you have to find your own voice that's the key and that voice has to carry across the conscious subconscious mind and your face has to say the same whether in wake or dream you have to explore that event horizon conscious subconscious you have to find the pathway between and you have to find it in this life you won't find it in death I mean, it's all yours. Children of God. Welcome to Hal Kaurji. Let's sing the long time sunshine. And 
beloved divine, thank you. Thank you for these moments of gathering, opening our hearts, awakening to our truth, awakening to our radiance, awakening to the divinity within. May we continue on with this radiance, continue on with this fearlessness, the strength to merge with our destiny, to merge with your will, and share our beloved gifts and blessings with the world. Satnam. Yeah. So